Tin Hut Soldier. General Bluebeard Gamer here. Stand at attention. Anyway, guys, <laughs> welcome back to a new, or, or welcome, I should say, to a new Let's Build series. I'm going to be doing Let's Build Warfare, which is basically, I'm going to be taking different eras of warfare. I'm just going to be at least one episode for each one I think of. And I'm going to do an, I'm going to try to do a Let's Build a little area for each. And I'm going to start with around the World War II era. I have all the supplies I need here. I got my general's rifle and my dagger. Let's just put those away. I got my general's outfit here with all sorts of junk on it. But let's begin by pulling out the resources we need to build a artillery station, which this is very important. Um, this will allow us. This is that's gonna be the target area over there where they're attacking from. So we're gonna need to build up a nice ring of sandbags. Maybe about that size? What do you guys think of that? We want to be able to... We don't want it too high on our side, because we want to be able to fire over. But we don't want the enemy to be able to fire right over us. So that's the key here. I'm just going to start rebuilding with probably one artillery. And, here, and I got the perfect spot to build it too. So I'm going to be using iron for this, because that's what they were made of in the real world. Maybe let's do, let's do, um, let's do one of these doohickeys. Let's just, there we go. So that there, it's not the best, but we got the general shape down. We're gonna have that on there. The thing is, we may need a front for this. All right. So there we got a um a bit of a ring around the fire location. Now I'm going to admit this really does not look much like an artillery piece. But, you know, you can only go so far with the world of cubes in Minecraft. It can only get you so many places. What else could I do to elaborate on this guys? What do you think? I think I liked it better when we had it like this beforehand. That looks a bit more like a cannon, but I think we can work with this. What we can do is we can do like that instead. And then just work with me here, guys. I got an idea. Get rid of those. Connect it down there. And have a bit of an open sight there. There we go. How's that look? Ooh. Well, <laughs> um, okay, let's face it, that looks hideous. How's that? Okay, that looks a bit better. That's not as miserably but terrible looking. I'm just gonna t t tap it off with the iron there, just to give it a bit more of a rusty metallic look. And there we go. So. Now we need to find ammo for this thing. We need to be able to shoot it, of course. So I haven't experimented with the mechanics of it yet. But we shouldn't need the dispenser anymore. I believe... That... Alright, so it powers and it shoots. So we now have a firing mechanism for our artillery piece. So for the rest of these sandbags, we want to kind of build them up a bit. So we need the artillery to be able to show so it can fire, but we don't want, like, we don't want it to, um, too exposed. So, like, maybe that, we can kind of taper it off there. I just noticed a hole. I'll fix that. And now, guys, I'm just doing this off the tip of my imagination. I have not thought about this at all, how I want to do this. So I'm sorry if it's really, really bad. Oh, yeah, 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 that's it. We need to brace it a bit more. Like that, there we go. That looks a little bit better, I think. What do you guys think? Oh, heck, that still looks terrible. <laughs> um, one thing I would like to try is that fire. 
Oh, it does. Okay, so we can go back to this, because we need a bit of an iron sight. I think. Alright, and, um... We don't really need a nav computer, because they didn't have those developed in the 1930s and 40s. So, I think our main artillery's done. We're gonna need a, um... Because they can be attacked from all areas. We're gonna need a heavy sandbag section over here to protect against naval attacks. Like that, maybe. And we'll have it higher at certain points to allow to fire from almost like battlements. Except I have a different idea. If we use sandstone slabs instead, maybe it won't seem as high like that. I suppose that's a little bit better. Like I said, I'm literally just going off the tip of my imagination. I have not thought about this at all. Maybe in my later, maybe in my future ones, I'll think about it a bit. But this is, um, I'm just winging this right now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I like that. Let's get rid of you. Let's just build this one high. Cause if there's an, cause if there's ever a bombardment area over there, we will get, we will get attacked like crazy. So that looks good for now. The artillery is pretty well shielded. This area is as well. And right here, I'm gonna put what I planned. I have a map. Ooh, look at that, guys. You can see on there where we are, where that little green arrow, and it shows where we're bombarding the area across from us. Except I think I'm going to put it there. Like that. Yeah, that definitely works better in my opinion. Because now, I can look, they can be like, okay, we need that there. And go pew. Alright. Now, now we need a place to store the shells for this thing. Because... Nowadays, they got, like, all sorts of power things, but they used to have just, like, metal artillery shells. So we got a few in there. Um, let's just do... Because I don't want to waste any of the ones I did. I'm going to take a... I'm just going to demonstrate how... Oops. Well, that didn't work. Uh, let's stick the fire charge in there. And let's fire it. There we go. So artillery has fired. I don't actually know how far that goes. I tested the firing mechanism a little bit earlier, and it didn't seem... It seemed like it just vape turn, go went away. So what I'm going to do now is, since we placed all that... I'm just going to load this bad boy up. In real life, they could fit maybe one... I think it was one shell in it at a time. And then they had to refill it, basically. They had to reload. This one will not be like that, honestly, which I should probably fix. There we go. And this one can just... It's a rapid fire. Yeah, there's no way I can get away with that. I'm gonna have to do one shell at a time. I actually can't even do that. I can do one shell at a time. That seems reasonable. Any other fire? Wait, what a second. Oh, I already fired three. No wonder I'm missing those. Alright, okay, let's just turn it to day. There we go, because I can't have this. Oh, that's another thing I haven't thought of. We need light. Um, Can't really make lamps. Torches will work. That's not the right type of torch, though. Um, if we could hook up some sort of redstone system, that'd be pretty cool, but cannot figure that out so let's um we'll just stick with torches because those are well actually let's make it night for this you guys should still be able to see pretty well um we can't stick any torches by the heavy metal device shooting explosives because let's just i'm just gonna let that one sit there for a second a flame device by a artillery piece that doesn't really work out guys Alright, so, this is a start. I never, I didn't actually think about it after this. Um, I'm probably going to do, I, I think I'm just going to continue this all the way around. Because we need to have a firm, solid defense all the way around. Because if, because in, the, in the 1940s, if you, it's like the Maginot line here, guys. If you have a solid defense on one side and the enemy just goes around it, then that defense doesn't help you. You need to... Let's not leave any gaps either, let's just fill it in. Alright. 
we will have to leave a gap somewhere. I think we'll leave it there, just so that you can get in. Whoa! Sorry, lag spike, guys. This is what it looks like. Um, all right. And now what we gotta do, which I didn't actually think of, is we gotta go through and do all this, cause yeah, they're sandbags, you know. They don't actually look like sandbags, but this is probably. I I tried out. I I looked at a few things beforehand, cause I knew I was gonna have something to do with sandbags, cause. World War II was going to be the first one I started with. However, this is the closest I could get, in my opinion. Two sandstones are the obvious choice, but this one just, this one probably was just, it seemed a bit better, because it had like a, a bit more of a smooth bag texture, almost. Um, I know I'm leaving a lot of holes on the inside here, I'm going to fix that when the time comes. Right now I'm just, how's it looking? That actually looks a bit more like the Maginot line, which I may do a little bit of farther down the road. Because, like, this, is, this, is, this isn't going to be, like, a let's build I'm doing. Like, this will be a really long extended one. I'll be doing other series between. I may even do let's builds between episodes of this. I'm going to be spending a lot of time thinking about what kind of thing I want to do. At first, they're, the videos are going to come quickly just because... The first few are kind of obvious. Like we need like a hoplite area, like a hoplite exhibit. We need a um, we need a World War II thing like this. You can't really not have one of these. We'll do that. And um, but as the, as time goes, I'll keep thinking about what we could do. Although this video is already getting relatively long. But uh, how, there we go. Okay, so that's pretty okay. I may actually build a um, artillery over on this side too, because we have nothing aimed at the water, guys. If a battleship were to come to this harbor, they could shoot us as much as we wanted. We wouldn't be able to do a thing. The problem is this place is really skinny, so we could maybe fit one other artillery up here. We could have it facing that way, that way, or that way. We have our, we already have this way covered for the bombardment area. We need a bit more of a defense, if you would. Um, you want, I want to try some. I want to try to do that, maybe. I'm, I'm trying to think of how I want the design for the, uh, sorry guys, I should be talking, but I'm trying to think of how I want to be able to, because this side we need he more heavily fortified, because we may be able to build down there, like, a bit of an artillery, which I may actually do now, but, because we won't be able to fit an artillery firing that way, so up here, I'm thinking we need to have some holes here, because... If, as long as this thing is well enough reinforced, it will be able to take maybe a couple battleship cannon blasts, which will give the artillery down here time to shoot, but guys can fire out of here with their rifles, just, you know, do a bunch of damage, go hog wild. So yeah, this side over here would probably do well with that as well, but I may, I may offline go off and embellish on some of this stuff, but I think this may be good for now, for this area. I will have a, um, I'm going to build an artillery facing that way, because that would be very important. And now that, because now that we know the general idea of how we want to do this, I can just, ba I can basically replicate it again. We'll put it right here, which means we got to get rid of that torch, guys. Like, I, you can't keep explosives nearby. That's a very big safety hazard. There we go. Alright. And from there we had... Oh gosh, I gotta do the shift-click thing. And then we had a... Narrowed sight. So yeah, this, this, this now is basically just repetition. I'm gonna... Basically just gonna make another one of these bad boys. Oops. Alright. Now to come off with the legs, guys. I'm just gonna do the same thing again. Uh, right. There. We have made 
basically another artillery. Uh, certain kinds of artillery guns around this time were much more centralized on being just big. And they could fire long distances and at angles and stuff, and they could be adjusted. But obviously in Minecraft, we don't have the redstone capabilities to do so. So forgive me guys, I, I did not anticipate on building another artillery. So I'm just gonna, um... Yeah, so this is the first shot, which I'll just put in there. Chest. And... Put that here. There. Oops. Well, I just broke the torch. I did not know we could do that. But... Another thing, I may not be able to have a, um, a torch there. Because we're, we're just gonna... Artillery shell. So we got a stack of artillery shells we're gonna put in there. So, um... Alright. Sorry, guys. There's a bit of lag. The rain often causes that. So, one thing I have noticed is this seems a bit long. I'm thinking we should taper it down a bit. Oops. Like that. I think that may be a bit better, because it's already pretty stretched out as it is. Like that? Yeah, that looks a bit better. It's a bit more centralized. We can leave a, um... Yeah, I got an idea. Sorry. Uh, I think what we can do here... Is we can, we can build a table... For, like, food or stuff like that. I'm just gonna... How do I do this for crying out loud? There we go. There we go. No, I want the grass. Like I, like I said, guys, really early on, sometimes when I'm trying to do stuff, it's hard for me to talk at the same time. So I'm, I, I, I greatly I greatly apologize, because I'm trying to make these entertainable, but sometimes, again, I feel like I can't help but feel like I'm a little boring. So, yeah. I'm sorry. So, so just a recap of this episode. How much time do we got? 17 minutes. I, I can make it a little longer. What I, and what I plan on doing here is I'm going to take... All these resources that I used before. We want the chest. Oh, that means we're going to need another anvil. That. I forgot about this. Oh. You. Alright, sorry guys. This is a job for my general's dagger. Ta-da! Yeah, military grade, guys. Top of the line. So I, I believe that an artillery down here would be most beneficial. The problem is we have this ugly granite. Which normal Minecraft looks good. The problem here is it doesn't texture like the rest of the stuff does. Because this is beyond the version of the texture pack. So it just looks ugly in comparison. Which I'm going to try to fix right now. We don't, we don't want a, um, yeah, we don't want an easy lip to climb up of, because if we do get, if we get invaded by the water here, we want it to make it, we want to make it hard for them to climb up, so we can stall longer, get some more artillery shots off, really make them question why they're doing this in the first place. I guess we can just go with a little bit of this jazz, yeah, that, that could work, looks a bit like a stockpile almost. I forgot how much space I need for this, so I'm just gonna do that. There we go. Uh, we want this pretty far up front. We'll do this. That. I gotta get on the ground for this. Bang, bang. Sorry guys, um, alright guys, here we go, so we've built like three artillery this area, in this area, 
we could be like we could be we could be we could be like world war veterans or something i don't know actually that's not true and i can't joke around about that but um yeah we we got we're pretty uh prepared here honestly oh wait i can't just put them in there called fire charges guys the the real military doesn't use fire charges that's just that's just that's minecraft uh we want artillery shell no that all right i don't why does it do that it was clearly on the left side never mind all right um and what i want to do with these is i'm going to make actually because there's another problem how are we gonna how are our guys gonna be able to get up there you know what then they're just gonna have to figure it out on their own so here's a recap of what we've done this episode I'm sorry, the early on was just me talking about what I was going to do, and this wasn't really interesting. But, um, here is what we've done this episode. We made three artillery cannon, three, ar three artillery pieces. Um, this one with, an, with this one with a map to attack over, over there, which I may make into like, a tank base or something like that, because I really want to make some tanks in this game. Um... Artillery shells, I really want to fire this just because. But we've got a table here, sandbags all around. Um, got all of our artillery shells stored and artillery. You know that works. we got an easily defendable front here. I'm just going to pull out my general's rifle to show you how it works. So you can, we can fire down on the battleship. Which, by the way, if you're wondering what this uses, this uses like 24... Or like a 50 caliber explo combustion combustion round pist uh, rifle shots. I don't know ammo names, guys. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, pew. So you could fire down the battleship with rifles. Maybe if they're bo if they're landing on the beach, you could get can't get the best angle because the beach is steep here. But you could definitely get them on like a boarding craft or something. Like if the boarding craft's made of like a flammable material. You're golden. Alright. Um, See, so yeah, I believe this may be the conclusion of this episode. Real quick, I, I, before we get off, I want to find something to shoot my rifle at. Just to test my aim. A general has to be able to lead his troops with certainty. Get out of here. Oh, probably shouldn't have picked something that's burning up. Oh yeah, they walk towards items so they can pick them up, but yeah. Alright, so that's one shot. It normally doesn't. It can one shot on its own if they're not already on, if they're not already burning. It sets them on fire, it knocks them back a bit, does a lot of power damage. Basically, it's top of the line engineering, I don't know. I don't know much about like the special engineering names and stuff like that. I don't don't know the types of guns and stuff like that. I'm more into the uh, doc the uh, World War II documentary type of guy, just watching the history about it. But yeah, so I've been blabbing on long enough. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching, Soldier. Um, port to attention next episode, please. Leave a comment about maybe giving giving me some ideas of what you want me to see build on. Let's build warfare next. I already have an idea, but if you, if you guys give me better ideas, I will try it out. So I will certainly do that. Um, uh, yeah, like and subscribe if you if you would like. That would help me out so that would help me out so very much in growing and becoming a known YouTuber. And I appreciate you people who have liked and subscribed. Thank you so much for doing that. And uh, until next time, guys. This is Blue Gamer signing off.